Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can switch between widgets inside of our main menu. And the reason why we're going to be doing this is so we can switch from one page to another. So for example, if they want to open up the options screen, what we're going to do is close the main menu widget that we've got here and then open up a second widget for that option screen. And what we're also going to have in that option screen for now is just a simple little back button in the top right hand corner, which is going to allow you to close that option screen and open the main menu one again. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will be comfortable switching between widgets using your blueprints. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the engine. So what we're going to do first of all is we are going to import the graphics for the options button. Now, like I said in the previous video and all the other ones, if you haven't already got the latest version of the UI resources, just go ahead and download them in the link in the description. So what you want to do is get your options button and your options pressed. Just click, drag and drop these into your content browser just like this. Open up your menu. Give it a couple of seconds to load up and then what we're going to be doing is just copying this button that we've got here. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to paste it. So we have a second one of these. And so we should have a second one here. If that doesn't work properly, what you can do is just go ahead and drag in another button in there yourself. So we're just going to quickly style this. So the normal image is going to be the options button. So options pressed, sorry, options button, margin zero, and then we are going to close it down, go to hovered, and we're gonna set this to options pressed. So when you hover over it, it has this little yellow effect. Once again, set your margin to zero, and then with your pressed image, we are just gonna use the options button again and we are just going to add a little yellow tint to it just like that. Now you will notice that with your button here, you can see it's stretching out. Instead of using the stretch, what we're gonna do is center it to the middle and set the size to auto and it's gonna look just fine the way that you wanted it to. Now. Don't worry, the button above should say exit, it probably will do for you, I just didn't save it in the last video. So anyway, with our options button, this is going to work now. So what we need to tell it to do is close down the main menu widget and then open up another one. So the way we're going to do this is with our options button, scroll all the way down and create an on collect event. And then with this, we are going to use the command remove from parent. And this remove from parent is a bit essentially just going to remove the widget from the parent widget. So it's just going to remove it. You won't be able to see it. And this is how you're going to go about switching between different widgets. So with this, what we're going to do after you've done that is now we need to load up the options widget. And the way we're going to do this is by dragging out from there, from the execution pin and just typing in create widget. And then with the return value, you just want to add this to the viewport. Now for the class, we need to select another widget blueprint. We don't have one for the options screen yet. So what I'm going to do is just right click in here in my content browser, add a new widget blueprint and just give it the name options screen. And then with this, what we're going to do is go back into our main menu and we're just gonna choose our widget blueprint as option screen, and then give this a little compile. So what you should uh, be able to see that we've done is when you press that button for options, it closes the current widget and then it opens a new one. And then what we're gonna do within the option screen, if we open this up, is we're gonna add a little button to go back and we're just gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna close the option screen and then open the main menu again. And the way we're gonna do this is pretty straightforward. So we've got this button here in the top right I've just created. I'm not too worried about the styling for now, but if we create an on-clicked event, what I'm gonna do is 
first of all remove from parent and then once again create a widget and add it to the viewport but instead this time because we're trying to go from options to the main menu we are going to use the menu widget so if we go ahead and compile this let's go ahead and try this out see how it works so press options it should close the main menu and then you can see the button on our options screen has popped up and i can go backwards and forwards between the two screens and it is doing exactly what i wanted it to Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.